Okay, so um, I guess, you know, kind of the, uh, in the discussion about where robots are in society, um, one of the things that has happened, you know, I'll kind of give you a little bit of history so that you get a, an idea. Because we're going to talk about what's happened in robots in the past and what's happening now. And the question is, is it different than what's happened in the past? And if it's different, why is it different? And so, you know, I, I went back and I grabbed a couple of these kind of interesting articles. And I just noticed the dates on here. So this is in 1996. In a cashless future, robots will, will cook, right? So in 1996, you know, there, there's this kind of, hey, the robots are going to be here. They're going to be everywhere. They're going to be taken over, right? In 1994, robots were actually kind of a, there had been a little bit of a, a frothiness in the stock market. And if you had robots in your name as a, stock, as a publicly traded company, it was not a good thing. So this company, Precision Robots, changed their name to PRI Automation. And then you go to earlier this year, robots are going to remake the workplace. So what's been happening, I mean, in, it's been, I guess, many of these kind of false starts for robotics, where everyone said, oh, yeah, robots will be here in two years or five years. And that's been going on since probably the mid-'80s. And so um, really the kind of question is, is that changing? And if it's changing, why is it changing? So just to give you a bit, a bit of you know, background, this is kind of the historical perspective of robotics. Robotics have, you know, there's really kind of a couple of key categories. And one of them is you know, the manufacturing robotics. And I'm sure you guys have seen these. Uh, I think you're going to go to the Tesla plant. Or have you gone already? No. So maybe you go to the Tesla plant. Maybe that's supposed to be a surprise. I don't know. Um, but you see, you'll see this kind of thing, right? You'll see this kind of thing. And I think most of you guys have seen it, right? Which is, you know, you've got these big robots. And they're manufacturing. They're welding. They're painting. They're doing jobs that are dirty, repetitious, and unsafe. And then this is a kind of a new. Uh, form of the manufacturing robot. And actually, if you go up to uh, Tim's office at any point, they have one of these there. It's called Baxter. And it's a manufacturing robot as well. But that's, that business has been historically driven by automobile manufacturing. And you know, it's large, heavy industrial robots. A couple, of area, a couple of other areas of robotics. One is logistics. And uh, if you were to go to the uh, Amazon, where Amazon uh, warehouse where they fulfill all the orders, you'll see a system like this. This is a company called Kiva. And that's what goes and gets the material off the shelf. So instead of having to send a person out there to get it, they can take one of these robots, we'll go grab the material and bring it back. It gives them some flexibility in their workforce. So during slow periods of time, they just don't have as many robots on the floor. You get kind of into the Christmas rush, you just have to put more robots on the floor instead of hiring more people. Then there's medical robotics. There's a company, a local company here called uh, Intuitive Surgical, which uh, makes a robot called Da Vinci. I think if you watch like, I don't know what, what Grey's Anatomy? House. House. House, they talk about it. It's probably, I've talked about it on a whole bunch of TV shows, right? So any health TV show, you probably, at some point, they probably mention this. Um, and then uh, you have a couple of other kind of segments. So they're in the healthcare. In the, in the medical robotics. These are devices that actually help doctors perform procedures. That's one category of robotics. And then this category of robotics is really kind of healthcare services. And this is a similar device to what you saw here this morning, right? This is made by a company called InTouch Health. And it is a device where a doctor gets in and runs around the hospital and talks to the patients. Um, it's made in conjunction with the guys who make this. Does anybody know what that is? The Roomba, right? It's made by this company called iRobot. iRobot also makes this. This is a large portion of iRobot's business. These are, met, you know, robots for uh, military use. You know? So the, it's kind of interesting. The robots for military use, you don't really kind of realize this, but the Department of Defense has been this huge funder up to date of robotics uh, development. And so there's some, I don't know, you can find this right here is a drone. You know, you can see the size of it. It's pretty small. So that thing can, you know, it flies into a room and it can figure out what's in the room for whoever wants to know. Right? And it's the size of a bug. And then this thing right here is this big dog. And it's, you know, it's the size of like a big cow. And it can run around. And these are all things that have been 
These are big, expensive R&D projects that have been funded by, you know, all sorts of Western governments. 